All right, this is Old Man Pool. Uh, we're here for match one, and despite taking our 10 blue sources, we do not start with one. <laughs> um, all the mountains in the world. We can't play Hordling Outburst turn three. Seems not great. If we draw one blue, though, the hand's pretty good. Um, um, I'm going to keep... I'm going to regret it. I'm just going to play a Horn of the Outburst and draw blue spells for the rest of the game. If we draw Impulse, though, we can find another island. We're going to keep it. This hand is so bad. <laughs> All right. We're on the draw. That, that'll that help us hit one, too. I have confidence here. All I have to do is ask my deck for blue, and we will get blue. That's the way it works. Oh, no. I didn't ask in time. All right. Okay, we'll chant here. Okay, the, ch the chat's telling me to keep. The chat's always right. Lotus Cobra. We need blue. <laughs> right now. Island. No! Composition is not what we want. He's like, he's playing mono red. He's not playing anything. His deck is so bad. Uh... And now he's just gonna play like a five drop and we're never gonna come back. Truth Rag Dusk. No, oh, he didn't use the ability. Does he not have anything? Just swing him. Alright. Blue. No. <laughs> we all knew this was going to happen and I kept it anyway. Lord Jesus, we need a blue. That's true. I should be calling for islands. But what if we get the uh, Sulfur Falls? Is that the one we have? The red blue? Let's look at all the goblins. Think of how good this would be if I could play opposition next turn. My opponent just loses, but... <sighs> Instead he's playing Virgin's Gear Hulk and we're just gonna get destroyed. Alright, alright. <laughs> Island, amen. The chat's still calling it. I have faith. 5-5 five, five, and a 5-4. Five, I guess we probably block the Cobra. Um, we can't block the Gear Hulk very successfully, so save some life while we can. <laughs> no! Uh, I think this game is probably over, unfortunately. Especially with all the double blue we have. Like, even if we find an island, we still have to play like Impulse and wait around. Like, Electrolyze just doesn't do it. I guess if we draw an island, we can electrolyze the on uh, the Lotus Cobra and double block with the goblins. So maybe we want to keep two goblins back at this point. And go down to eight. That's assuming my opponent has nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're just dead. <laughs> Punish Bull Titan. Oh, punished. All right. And now I'm being blamed for my hubris. <laughs> Chat has failed me. Uh, I guess we block. I don't know of anything we can draw here, though, honestly. Yep. Alright. GG. It's okay, my opponent doesn't realize that we're a different color. That gives us the advantage, right? All right, what do we want here? Is he playing, he's probably playing some more ramp than what we saw. So like, Flame Slash seems fine. Um, still don't love like Thunder Ma or um, Chandra. Could play Firebolt. It's probably better than the Incinerate, just as a one cost kill spell. Um, plus it's got way sweeter art. Hmm, anything else we really want? Dungeon Geist seems pretty okay. Yeah. What seems bad in the deck? Maybe we cut one of our counter spells since we're bringing in some removal, and that's probably going to be better. Um, here still seems okay. 
into the Royals. Maybe only find. Not exciting. We can return a a mana card. Hmm. A lot of what he has is going to have value when it enters the battlefield, though, so I don't know if into the Royals that great. Um, Fiery Conflux. Probably not fantastic, unless my opponent's got a bunch of Planeswalkers we didn't see. All right, let's keep something like this. I think we would have had a pretty like genuinely good shot there if we dropped the opposition and just started tapping down everything. Um, our only failure was just finding blue mana, but that's going to happen sometimes, especially when I'm encouraged to keep such terrible hands. No, I think that hand was okay, honestly. Let's go into game two. I'm also not salty at all. I would like to play first. Okay, we have two colors. We have an Is It Charm. This is a keep. So ideally we just draw some lands and can use the Is It Charm as a removal spell, but if we have to look for lands with it, that's not the end of the world. And again, my opponent's like, oh wow, he's playing Islands. The surprise. Elves of Deep Shadow. Okay. So yeah, let's help draw a land here. Good. So I think we're just going to go ahead and Is It Charm with the Elves, um, then Electrolyze in the next round. And then if we draw any other land, we can play Pia and Kira. We're still a couple islands away from Cryptic, but this seems pretty okay. Let's go ahead and kill this. And pass back to my opponent. Next turn we get some value off Electrolyze, probably. This is also fantastic art. Sylvan Library. Okay. Well, no value off Electrolyze immediately. We may end up just shooting my opponent's face. To try and find a land. Um, that might just be correct here. Hopefully he plays some sort of mana dork though and we get a little bit more value than that. Okay, opponent going off with Sylvan Library. Definitely a powerful effect. Draws a couple times. Wonder what he's looking for here. Maybe my opponent's light on lands. It doesn't seem like he necessarily needs more threats. Okay. And hopefully this is something we can just kill with Electrolyze. Yep. Topia Sprawl is not. Looks like he might be playing something off of this though. Three. Okay. What you got? Cultivate. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to shoot my opponent here. Um, it also brings him a little bit into scarier range for Sylvan Library, so not the absolute worst. Okay, found Opposition, but no fourth land, unfortunately. Opposition's fantastic here if we do find another land. Uh, we need an island specifically, but for Whirler and Kira. But yeah, here we go. We're going to get a land. I have faith. Eh, it's kind of a land. It's a slow land that costs us some card advantage, but it's all right. Uh, we're not going to discard our, our mountain, so that's like two cards. What do we want to pitch? Probably Cryptic Command at this point. And... Hmm, maybe Whirl of Rogue? Whirl of Rogue's really good with the opposition, but we may be a little bit of ways from finding another land anyway. Yeah, I think that's probably correct. So let's pitch those two. I think opposition is better than World of Rogue. So we'll play a land and pass back to my opponent. So yeah, my opponent's got to be a little bit nervous about just slamming cards with Sylvan Library. He's gotten a great value off it already. He's going to go down to six. Okay. I mean, there's a reasonable chance that Zealous Conscripts will just kill him with whatever he plays if we get a land, too. If he goes that low, he's kind of asking for it. Okay, Pilgrim is fine. 
Pyrex Fine. Bunch of mana dorks. It's interesting that he didn't play these previously. Maybe he was playing around something like Electrolyze. Certainly not impossible. Green Sun Stennis for three. Okay. So my opponent may have a pretty fantastic next turn. Um, if we draw any land, we can Pyromaster and Flame Slash. I think we do need to kill off the Rafelos. Hmm. I guess we probably just play Chandra here. It has the most immediate impact. Um, takes my opponent down, so he can't utilize the Sylvan Library again. He may just have us dead anyway, though. He's got one, two, three, four. He's got eight mana, so. I mean, like, Crater Hoof, I guess, doesn't quite kill us. But if he's got Crater Hoof and eight creature, it does. I guess you need another land for it. I do think the Chandra's our best play, though. Definitely want to get Rafaelis off the board. So we'll hit him, and we'll kill that. And go ahead and pass back to my opponent. And hope we don't die. If he plays any like medium-sized threat, Zealous Conscripts has the potential to be kind of a blowout. If we get another blue for the click. Ooh, he draws two, he's going to one. Probably means we're dead. Oh, wait. Oh, that's only just for the draws there. I see. Just misreading our little summary wrong. Sort of War and Beast. Alright. That is definitely a card. Kind of bad against opposition, but it's going to give him a lot of breathing room and it's going to kill off our Chandra, unfortunately. Okay, assume it's coming at me, and then I'll just hit the Chandra for five. Pretty good, that was a powerful drop. It's also, we can't steal it with the Conscripts now, unfortunately, since it's got protection from red. We may be in trouble. Need to find lands a little bit earlier again. And maybe that's just a weakness of the deck. We do have a lot of like four cost things. Um, getting rid of the road. Going up to nine. Can't play a dungeon, guys. Hmm. Guess we just play Kia and Pyrrha. At least they can block, or the Thopters can block the Pilgrim. And then if we still drop opposition, it turns out to be pretty okay for us pretty fast. Let's have the opportunity to draw again, though. Sylvan Rot Library has done serious work for my opponent. And obviously, it's it's great. It's, it's in your opening hand and pretty good in general, but it has been a beat in this game for sure. Comes in with the Pilgrim. We'll just jump block. Hmm. So, don't think we actually care that much about the ooze. Um, much, much more concerned about dying to the Sword of War and Peace. So, if we do hit blue for opposition, we can flame slash something. Um, and then opposition the other two things, and we're kind of in the game. This might be something big, though. Avenger. Mm, it's pretty good. Yeah, we just don't have like any wrath effects. And still haven't found another blue. Um, I mean, we can. I guess all we've got is Flame Slash. Definitely a shame. Feels bad to lose this way, but it's gonna happen sometimes. 
I guess, what can we do here? Can we do anything? And flame slash, the ooze, and kill it in response. We use. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. We need to keep the Thopter back to block the Pilgrim at the least, and then we still take at least 10 if he's got any land, we're dead. Um, I guess we could, well, no, Flame Slash is Sorcery, otherwise we could kill off the Avenger. I guess if he, yeah, I think we're just dead, unfortunately. All right, well, a disappointing match one, but hopefully next game, next game we'll play a Hero Land just a little bit better. And it's not like our deck isn't rough on mana bases, but I think we were a little bit unlucky too. In any case, I will see you guys uh, for round two.